It was only a dozen years ago that the American auto industry stood on the brink of collapse during the great financial crisis, something President Obama said he could not let happen. We cannot and must not, and we will not, let our auto industry simply vanish. And so the industry went through a painful restructuring to emerge smaller, more efficient, and more profitable. And no sooner did it get through all that than it has to reinvent itself all over again as the nation and the world move to electric vehicles. A future of the automobile industry that is electric. Battery electric, plug-in hybrid electric, fuel cell electric. It's electric and, and uh, there's no turning back. Is the industry up to this new challenge? And if it is, will it be the traditional car companies who lead the way? Or will they have to make room for the pure play electric vehicle makers like Tesla and Rivian? Dan Ives of Wedbush says President Biden is creating a huge new market. This is the start of what I believe is a $5 trillion market with definitely Biden kicking off the green tidal wave in the US, which is underperformed uh, when we look compared to China and Europe. And Ive says GM is well positioned, that as GM proves out its EV vision over the coming years, the stock will be re-rated more as a disruptive technology and EV play rather than its traditional auto valuation. Kathy Wood of ARK Investments, on the other hand, says the traditional automakers are just too far behind to catch up. The uh, traditional auto manufacturers, if you look at their R&D budgets or you look at GM's, 10% of its R&D, $25 billion in capital spending is uh, allocated to electric. They should be at almost 100 now, given what's about to happen. They have just gotten started and what they have delivered uh, are cars that don't even meet, uh, whether it's range or other metrics, um, the Model S uh, circa 2012. But in the end, it may not be just electric cars that decide who wins and loses. It may be a cluster of different tech innovations that come with those EVs. Or so says Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley. Ford is showing a bit of um, a bit of urgency too. It's better late than never. Yeah. Uh, but General Motors is our pick under the leadership of Mary Barra, who's executing a phenomenal turnaround here with real action, this company is starting to present itself as a viable, let's say, pre-SPAC um, ETF of 2.0 unicorns. 